all the decals are on the rocket and we're getting ready to launch. Um, previously, I showed you how to put the parachute on the, uh, the penetrator part, which is the nose cone part. Um, I, got, I got a lot of tape on here, nice good friction fit because I don't want that nose cone falling off. Uh, the bottom parachute, the larger one, um, we're going to attach it to, to that loop. Let's see if I got them all. There we go. Come on, grab the last one. All right. There's the loop, the Kevlar loop here. You can see that. Uh, this one will get attached to that. We just pass it through the loop and then find the apex of the chute and pass that through. Keep holding that, don't let that go. And then you pull this tight. Okay. The rocket motor will go on the bottom, obviously. Um, If I'm using a single use, I'll tape it in. I'll just slide it in and wrap tape around it. If I'm using a, a reload motor, um, you might want to use um, our engine retainer, and I've mentioned this before. Uh, the kit doesn't come with one. Uh, an engine retainer can be taped in like this too, um, but you know, you, you're risking a little bit more with a, a reloadable casing uh, because it could shoot out the back if the ejection charge is too strong. Um, you're going to use regular wadding like you normally would or dog barf. People always ask me what dog barf is. Um, dog barf is home insulation. Uh, if you go down to a home, home supply store, um, they have bales of home insulation and it's, it's shredded newspaper that's been treated with a flame retardant. So it's just like wadding, um, but it comes in bulk. So in a big rocket like this, um, you want to fill it up, um, you know, a good one diameter at least inside there in front of the motor. So you want to keep it nice and loose. Don't compress it. Keep it loose in there. Uh, fill it up. And then you'll put your parachutes in. Now, before I do that, I'm going to put on my rubber bands. This is just temporary. Um, if you were to do it in real, fold your chute, spike it. Do a zigzag fold like that and then wrap the lines loosely around the parachute canopy. We want this one to open fairly slowly um, because you, you don't want on a big rocket, you know, there's a lot of stress on the parachute. So by wrapping the lines around it, it slows it down opening. I showed you this one before. And, uh, this rubber band, you'll, you'll pass it through right in front of that little um, notch. You'll grab it so you can hold it tight and then give it a twist. Oops, I pulled it through. I did it again. I can't, I can't see what I'm doing. and then into the notch on top so that it will spring open. And I'll do the next one. Um, after you've launched your rocket, uh, remove the rubber band so you don't overstretch them. So that way they'll last a lot longer. Okay, just like that. Now the big rubber band, the other big one, just slide over the leg. And you'll notice there's a little, another little cutout here, right 
near that diagonal. So put it into there. And just leave it for right now. Okay. At this point, now we'll put the, the, the nose on before we put the other rubber bands on. Okay, so remember you gotta prep this chute the same way. This is where it helps to have a friend to get all your legs in. So these are nice, they're in tension now. Um, now the little rubber bands, there's a little notch right here by the base of the fin. And then you're going to st stretch it. Well, actually go the other way. Start with it on this end. Get it into that little groove. You can see there's a little groove right there and then stretch it into that little notch right there. So now that one's ready. Always test them. Okay, that one's ready. Now finally, I take these big ones and you'll notice that there's a notch right here at the very bottom of the fin. And that's where these are stretched to. Just like that. Do these last. Just like that. Put your igniter in and you're ready to launch the Starlift Megalander. So this is the conclusion, and I'd like to say thank you for purchasing the kit, and thank you for coming to Apogee Components. We really appreciate your business. And may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.